So I've been seeing these blue locks slash other anime edits lately, and I thought it would be fun to draw blue lock characters in Jujutsu Kaisen, which is、uh, another anime that I'm currently watching and enjoying. As for how I'll do this, I'm thinking of picking a character or multiple characters if I have time from blue lock, and then just directly inserting them into Jujutsu Kaisen by like redrawing them, like designing them, and like giving them like some sort of story to see how it will work out. I will be continuing this video in the context that you kind of know both of these shows,、um, but there will not really be any like giant spoilers for either of these animes, and I also won't spoil anything for the manga for either of these animes. So without further ado, let's、uh, get straight into it. Firstly, I drew a base because I wasn't too sure of which character I'm gonna draw yet, so just、um, some groundwork I'll do. And then while I was thinking,、uh, while I was drawing the base, I was thinking of who to draw. And immediately, what popped up in my mind were two people,、uh, Shido and Sai. And、uh, that's because they voice, I believe, Gojo and Ghetto in Jujutsu Kaisen. And I thought it would be very fun to redraw them as Gojo and Ghetto until I looked up online and realized there's already a plenty of artwork of people drawing them as Gojo and Ghetto. And I thought, that, never mind. I, I It's a stale idea. It's boring. People have done that, so I moved on. So my second idea, which is the idea that I rolled with, is drawing Isagi because he's the main character. So why not put him in Jujutsu Kaisen universe? So for Isagi, I later came up with three designs, but you're gonna see the first one that I'm drawing now. The first one that I came up with is just very plain and simple, because I feel like Isagi's designs are already plain and simple. It kind of reflects the idea that. He looks like a nobody to people who don't know him, and that he's surprise attack. He's actually super good at doing what he does, whether it's soccer in Blue Lock or if it's、um, killing curses in Jujutsu Sorcerer. Jujutsu Sorcerer. I mean Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking he will、um, be like a second year student in. The Jujutsu Kaisen universe. Like, I'm not sure which school he'll go to. I guess the Tokyo one. And second year because it matches his status of being a second year in Blue Lock Dory as well. For the shirt, I gave him the same one as Megumi's, where the pants are looser than the trim that Megumi has because I felt like Isagi is more open person than Megumi. Like, <laughs> if that makes sense. And also, he uses his legs more. Like, he does more kicks and stuff. That's why the pants need to be a little bit looser. And、um, yeah. I guess it puts a bit more emphasis on the legs as well. As for shoes, I just gave him some simple. I don't know what this is even called, so whatever. <laughs>、um, and yeah, that's about it. This is the first design I came up with. For the second design, I wanted to lean off this youthful and sporty vibe, so I gave him shorts. Like it was the first idea I came up with, because I. Thought like no like major characters from Jujutsu Kaisen has shorts yet, so I give it a try to see how it looks in the design, and I think it kind of worked because it kind of puts more emphasis on his legs. As I said, it will be a weapon of choice. I think he will be kicking around more. Yeah, and、um, for the shoes, I tried to give him soccer shoes, which later on I realized it doesn't make too much sense. Why would you wear that like in broad daylight outside, like not in the field? It, you'll ruin your shoes, but whatever. I will change it eventually, so you can ignore them for now. I also felt like the bare legs were like improper and too casual for like school uniform to just go around with the, those.、Um, so I decided to give him the blue lock suit underneath, maybe like for protection, or I don't know what it's for, but aesthetically it's pleasing. So I just rolled with it for now. And I guess it's a callback to Blue Lock as well. This is also when I explored what to put on his head. I tried to change up his hair or give him accessories, but then、um, I couldn't find anything that worked for him, so I kind of just gave up there. I feel like his hair is too iconic, his bland hairstyle. So we moved on there. And、um, the top was too plain compared to the bottom, and the design felt kind of unbalanced. I gave him a hoodie that is the same as Yuji's from. Jujutsu Kaisen.、Um, it also pays homage to how they're both like protagonists.、Um, this is when I felt like I decided like color everything, like not color, but like just gave everything like different shades, because I thought that would kind of bring the design more to life. <laughs> yeah, like、um, the way of how I organize my drawing procedure is very messed up. Please just roll with it.、Um, the third design is almost a clone to the second one, except I decided to leave the shirt white and remove the hoodie again. And white because I thought 
maybe the colors would work and make him look a bit more unique. And um, it also matches Yuta's, uh, Okatsu Yuta's from Jujutsu Kaisen, which is also like another protagonist of his own movie. So I thought it was very fitting. In a way, Isagi kind of looks like a little brother to Yuta. And that's it. These are my three designs, A, B, and C. And I'll eventually roll with design B because I thought it was the more aesthetically pleasing one out of all three of them. And uh, I decided to draw a more defined art slash poster for it. Oh, I forgot to record the process of the sketch, so you're just gonna get the line works and everything from now on. So now let's talk about how Isagi will work in the Jujutsu Kaisen universe. I think the most fun part is um, the powers, like the special abilities or the cursed techniques, whatever any of those things are called in the Jujutsu Kaisen universe. So they sort of work as like superpowers that these students in Jujutsu Kaisen have to uh, eliminate curses. And Isagi's case, I immediately associated him with Gojo because they are both like blue coated and Isagi has this like very good vision, like spatial awareness, which I thought matched Gojo's technique of um, six eyes. Like, is that what it's called? I'm not too sure. Yeah, six eyes, we'll roll with that. Isagi will be from the Gojo clan, he will inherit the six eyes, he will also have like the gravity techniques that Gojo have and I played with this idea a bit and I thought maybe instead of like pushing like gravity black holes out of his hand like what Gojo does maybe Isagi could like kick these balls because he's a soccer player so like it would be very similar to um, the Wanderer's alt from Genshin Impact like where he stomps down the ball but instead Isagi might like kick it or something I'm not too sure about the techniques of it but visually it could look cool or it could look like um, Cure March from Precure, which is this other uh, anime that I've watched of like magical girls. But instead, this is a, like a magical boy, I guess, <laughs> and he's kicking the ball. For the shoe design, I originally, like as I said before, I want, wanted to do like soccer shoes, but then I realized it doesn't make much sense. Like, why would you wear it, <laughs> like outside of playing soccer? So I just made him get like normal shoe bottoms. Oh, as you can see, I had issues drawing the leg proportions because I did not study anatomy, so I'm struggling. <laughs> and um, I did try to keep uh, the composition of this artwork like a triangle kind of looking composition, but it's a little bit messed up, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'm trying my best, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this leg is something I'm struggling with for a whole while, and I finally kind of got it towards the end. And now for the coloring. I think this was both a fun and challenging process. I retained his color scheme to be very blue and very um, matching that of like all the like the typical Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer uniform blue color shades. And um, I might not be the best at coloring, like I know the folds here are a bit off but it is what it is and as i said before i'm adding the blue lock um span spandex suit looking thing at the bottom like you see it from his knees and a little bit peeking out from his arms um adding highlights here and there to make things look better um now i'm just rendering the artwork with more shadows and highlights across the board i played a lot with the background I want Isaki to have a domain expansion that is very similar to Gojo's. Uh, for those who don't know what a domain expansion is, um, it's like this like ultimate move that Jujutsu sorcerers have, where you like summon this like special inner palace that expands out into the real world in some way, and like all of them work very differently. So right now I'm like coloring this ball, and I realized that. A big problem I realize is the ball is emitting light, so I've been coloring the shadow around the entire time because I've been coloring it as if it's like the light's shining from above downwards or like from the left side. So the ball should be like emitting light. So like the light that I should have colored, like the shadow should have been the opposite way. So but it's too late to change and I'm not bothered, so it is what it is. So <laughs> I try to hide the fact by making the ball black, so like maybe it's sucking light while emitting light, but it makes no sense whatsoever. Um it is what it is for now. And for the aura color, I decided to be green because that's kind of what Isagi's aura color is for Bullock. 
And this is when I also changed the hoodie color to green because uh, I just thought it fit Isagi's aura better instead of just blue and it made the artwork a bit more interesting because his design so far is a little bit bland, it's too blue. And plus, I've seen Isagi wearing like these blue hoodies, uh, I mean not blue, sorry, green hoodies in official artworks a lot and I thought it'd look nice on him. Um, so here you go, you have some green in your design. The eyes were the most fun part to color. Uh, I messed around with it a lot. I wanted to give, like, make it give off like the six eyes slash like Gojo's eyes um, looking vibes. It's a shame that it looks very tiny in the artwork, uh, whilst it's like something that I spent some more time on. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's what digital art is, and you just focus on details too much, you won't get the thing done. Final touch, I made the background inverted color from my initial darker background because um, Isagi didn't really show well with the dark background. And this is it. This is my design of Isagi Oichi as a Jujutsu sorcerer in the Jujutsu Kaisen universe. He is a second year student, a I imagine like a grade one sorcerer. He will be joining the Tokyo school. Uh, I forgot whether it has an official name and he will be in the same year as Maki and Panda and all the others. His abilities wise, he will kick these like black hole balls at people that can like hurt, like it, it's very powerful. So it's like the red technique that um, Gojo has, like it's like it destroys things, I guess. And maybe he can invert it later on, but it's something he'll have to learn when he eventually becomes super good and maybe become a special great, I don't know. He will retain similar personality as he has in Blue Lock, so he's highly ambitious, but also friendly. And uh, he leaves no sympathy for the curses. So this is why his life goal is to challenge his teacher, which is Gojo, and to win the title of the best sorcerer in the world, like the greatest sorcerer in the world. Dynamic-wise with other characters, I'm thinking he he's like the friendly mom caretaker of the group, <laughs> and when things go down like when there's curses or when people are not behaving he turns to his like dark side and he gets super serious and psychotic which fits the gojo clan personalities that i've seen so far they, they share very similar traits he is the cousin of gojo after all and um oh yeah i remember seeing a post somewhere that said isagi looked like the son of gojo in ghetto i don't remember where i saw it, it but it was so funny to me but then it kind of works as well because he, he kind of does once you look into it like not just look but also like personality in in some way yeah and that's it that's the end of my design i know i haven't posted for a very long time that's because school is hard and i've been busy working with that yeah but now the holidays are creeping near and my finals are about to end soon i will have more time to make things yippee so please subscribe and stay tuned if you're interested check out my socials if you want to see my other artworks thank you to my 11 subscribers and this will be the end of my video i think um yeah bye